Dead Space, again, for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. On impossible difficulty? Sounds right. Impossible difficulty, using only this gun. So, same thing that's happened like every other time in the game. You backtrack to an area that you've previously cleared out, and there's more enemies just lying in wait. And this guy was particularly clever because he was pretending to be dead in an area where he killed a whole bunch of guys, so you're like, oh, <laughs> look at that, the dead body from before, do 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 do, and then he <laughs> eats you alive. That was some great sound effects. <laughs> yeah. I am a professional voice actor. No, you're not. I know. I was trying to, uh, quote replicate one of the best podcasts out there that the best non-gaming podcasts what's, that is what's that it's called you look nice today uh-huh it's hilarious for anybody that's a fan of podcasts that listens to a lot of podcasts highly recommend you download that one they're two fucking hilarious guys or three hilarious guys and it's like it's just the weirdest conversations <laughs> you've ever heard it's like it's it's hilariously funny. All right. Yes. A plus rating from me. And I my endorsement. This is the first time I've heard of it. It is hilarious. What's it called? Tea and crumpet time. <laughs> Tea and crumpet time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the next episode of our show should be. Sweatpants Diaries episode two. Tea and crumpet time. <laughs> Yeah, we need to do some more recording for that. Yeah, we have a lot more shit to do. So I edited out a whole bunch of selling shit and buying power nodes and upgrading shit and all that kind of stuff. And after you go to that bench, you uh, as soon as you walk away from the bench, an enemy drops down behind you. So kill him and then grab this power block thing. And then... As soon as you walk into this sandy area, there's going to be a couple of the grenade hand guys that are going to come after you. One to your right, one to the right of the door, and then one from straight ahead. And it's pretty tricky because unless you know that he's coming from behind you, you're going to get killed because you see the guy in front of you and you're focusing on him trying to keep him at a distance yeah. while you're backing up directly into the guy that's that spawned behind you. So, I don't know. The first time you play through it, you're going to die just because they <laughs> set it up that way that you're going to get fucked. Unless you're on the easy difficulty, which is for fucking Nintendo Wii, I guess. Yeah. I wonder what that's going to play like. I wonder if... You have to waggle the remote. Oh, so you waggle the remote and then you just you win? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. It's that's... how you kill... It's all... The whole game's 100% popcorn monsters. And to pop the popcorn, you shake the Wiimote. Oh, okay. They were, oh, I don't know if it's, this is correct, but um, it might use the Wii Hyper Sensitivity Mode extension pack. Oh, thing. the um, adapter for the controller that makes it what it originally advertised to be in the first place? Yeah. Oh, so the thing that should have came out with the Wii when it came out two years ago. Yeah. Oh, right, the Wii... Um, so they can stop porting uh, GameCube games and start making mm, legitimate mm -hmm. Wii games. I want to know what Nintendo is spending their fucking money on, because it <laughs> isn't games. Gold toilets. Gold toilets in $100 bills to wipe their ass with and light cigars with. So in this area, there's this big asteroid being tethered with like four different energy beams. And two of them are in this anti-gravity room that has oxygen, and then two of them are outside the spaceship, or on the outer deck. So what you gotta do is use your little stasis pack, slow that spinning thing down, and shoot the uh, fl fluorescent light bulbs light bulb tubes. And as soon as you walk on the outside of this thing, you drop this little marker on it. Because the whole point of this is to put a communications beacon on it 
so then when it flies off into space, you can make communications and send out an SOS signal. So put it on the thingamajig and just run away from all the enemies because there's a shitload of enemies outside and it's much easier to just fly away from them to actually fight them. Oh, well, that was a good flight right there. <laughs> Oh, this recording is going tremendously smooth. I'm glad this worked out, because this has actually been a fun game to voice over. Yeah. You know, you have to watch out for these swinging things, because they will cut you in half if you're not careful. Like, I almost got cut in half right there. And I'm running out of oxygen, so I'm desperately trying to get inside. As soon as you walk inside, just fly to the other side of the room, and then run back out the door from which you first entered... Oh, that was some good gaming tips. Yes. That's the most gaming tips we've made ever. Yeah, normally we were talking about chili rainbows, but <laughs> exactly. this time this time we're on topic. Wait, no, we bitched about the Wii for a good minute or two there. Oh, yeah, and Nintendo spending money on Japanese denim with money stuff denim. <laughs> yes. yes. The coolest of the cars and the baddest of the women. Yes, and lots of sake <laughs> and karaoke. I don't know. I'd, I'd be interested to try this game on the Wii, if I had a Wii. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We get a lot of shit for not liking the Wii, but, you know... Until they... In, until they release... Until Zelda 2 comes out, I'm not getting... Right. Yeah, we've made a couple guides for the Wii, or you have. Yeah. Metroid and Zelda were both good games. Long games. Those mm -hmm. weren't, like, short, easy projects by any means. <laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> the bosses... On in hyper mode difficulty mm -hmm. for Metroid were definitely the hardest bosses I've ever had to do. <laughs> now you need to take this energy block back with you to power up the elevator from which you removed it in the first place, and you have to watch out for the fire as well. Kind of maze your way through it. <laughs> 